let's take something like a sale so I'll write sale and this is our cash receipt these are two events the sale we give merchandise so that's an economic decrement event a cash receipt we get cash so that's an economic increment event now if I wanted to query my database for example to get accounts receivable uh, first we need to know well what is accounts receivable so let's look at the account accounts receivable here's my debit side that's where I increase here's my credit side that's where I decrease and so you can ask your students well what event causes accounts receivable to increase and so hopefully eventually you could get them to say uh, credit sales so a sale actually gets accounts receivable to increase so put sale and what actually makes accounts receivable decrease well those are cash receipts related to sales when we collect cash so we could put cash receipts on this side and so if I wanted to compute the accounts receivable balance I could first I'll sum up my sales second I'll sum up my cash receipts then third my third query I'll subtract the sum of my sales minus the sum of my cash receipts and there you have it you have just designed three queries to compute accounts receivable and you notice that accounts receivable if we do it in a journal entry uh, let's forget about inventory for now so we have a journal entry we have debit accounts receivable for let's say hundred dollars credit sale let's say for hundred dollars when we collect the cash our cash increases by hundred dollars and our accounts receivable decreases by hundred dollars so really when we have a sale that doesn't have a cash receipt we we increase accounts receivable because accounts receivable says hey I have a sale that does not yet have a cash receipt and then when I collect the cash I no longer need this placeholder called accounts receivable so these two cancel out so accounts receivable is simply an imbalance in this duality relationship and that's all that's to it we could talk about unearned revenue in the same way unearned revenue is also a placeholder because if uh, I have unearned revenue it's simply I collect the cash before the sale so here's my unearned revenue decreases with debits and increases with credits when I collect cash I increase unearned revenue that's cash collected relative to uh, for services to be delivered at a later time and then when I actually provide the goods or services my sale actually decreases my unearned revenue so if I wanted to query to get unearned revenue first I'll sum up my cash receipts that will be related to well we don't have the sale yet but we would have a sale order so I would sum up my cash receipts that are related to sale orders but not yet related to sales then I would sum up all my sales and unearned revenue is the sum of those cash receipts related to the sale orders but not sales minus the sum of the sales and that's unearned revenue so unearned revenue
is a placeholder. So cash goes up 100, unearned revenue goes up 100. Then when I uh, earn the cash, when I earn the money, then my sale goes up. Oops, that's supposed to be credit. Then my uh, sale goes up by 100, and my unearned revenue decreases by 100. And again, notice that unearned revenue is simply a placeholder that says, I have received cash that I have not yet earned. And that's all that's to it.